One bit. This is one bit of memory. Building a computer from scratch, day 13. On day 12, I made a D-latch. The D-latch is good, but it does lack a few features. Here's the new improved version. This is what's called a D flip-flop. Mine uses two D latches. Now let me explain why this is better. With just having one D latch, it could work for different types of computers, but it will not work for mine. My computer will have an internal clock. With the clock, I must be able to store and read data while being connected to the clock. Let me draw it out for you. You can look at the diagram as such. Zero being when the clock is between pulses and one when the clock is pulsing. When should we change data during this time? Is it here? Here. In the case of my circuit, it works like this. This is known as the rising edge. During this moment of time is when we send our data to the first D-latch. This will store the data until the clock pulses off. This is known as the falling edge. The data will then be sent to the other D-latch. This D-latch is what it actually stores the number. One of the main reasons we need it to work this way is because we need to make sure that in between clock cycles, everything has settled down into its correct state. This is what gives us control and helps keep everything in sync.